Can you believe it in the 21st century? Some people actually live like this. And not at a very far away location, right here. This is North Sentinel Island. And you have to know that it's in a very popular part of the world. It's 1300 kilometers away from India and 300 kilometers from Myanmar. There's an island here that's different from the rest of the world. All these islands you're seeing is a part of India, even North Sentinel Island. So on this set of islands, why is North Sentinel Island so different? Why did the Indian government forbid anyone from entering this island? Why is India, even though it's the owner of the land, not do anything about it? Because for thousands of years, the people that live here haven't changed. When you enter this island, you could kind of imagine you're entering Earth tens of thousands of years ago. That's how behind the people that live here are. This island is for India, but the people that live there don't know any Indias or Bangladesh. They don't even know what a country is. You could say this island didn't have any connection for thousands of years with anyone. They lived like thousands of years ago. They make spears with wood, they fish with them and eat them. They eat fruits and vegetables as well. Their clothes are made from natural resources at the island as well. The weirdest part about this island is that the people don't know anything about fire. We could say they have not seen fire before. Just this alone shows how uncivilized they are. Do you know how long humans have been able to control fire? They say Neanderthals also controlled fire, and that means around 400,000 years ago. How is it possible that all these years, they've never figured out fire? Like we said, India is 1300 kilometers away, and Myanmar is about 300 kilometers away. Around this island, there's other islands, and they're all pretty much modern. Only 15 kilometers east of this island, there is Port Blair, an island with a population of 100,000 people that has pretty much everything. Electricity, roadways, internet, cars, everything. Only 50 kilometers away as well. Port Blair obviously has a port and an airport. Historians believe the first time other humans tried to step foot in this island was in the year 1867. At this time, an Indian ship is sailing and it faces a problem. Since they were next to North Sentinel Island, they reach the shore and get off the boat. But the people that lived in North Sentinel Island get angry and attack the Indians. Thankfully, they had weapons and they shot in the air to scare off the Sentinelese. And another Indian ship comes and saves them. After that, the British hear about the island. They said, we're gonna go there and check it out. When the British get to the island and see the people, they immediately turn around and leave. And they believe nobody should bug them and they should do what they're doing. 100 years pass and Indian government says, let's go to the island and see what's going on. They put some anthropologists on the boat and they go to investigate what's happening over there. They got close to the island and they tried to act friendly and enter the island. But before they got to shore, they got attacked. In this 100 years, unlike before, they figured out a technology and they were able to invent the bow and arrow. The anthropologists saw a rain of arrows coming at them, and that is why they decided to turn around and leave. 
You guys know the National Geographic. Four years later, in 1974, this magazine decides to take a documentary of this island. And that is why they made a deal with the Indian Army to go visit the island. But when they got close, the rain started again. And one of the people on board got hit with the arrow in the leg. And thankfully, he didn't die. In 1991, Indian anthropologists went close to the island again. This was the first time that the Sentinelese didn't attack. They were able to get on shore and take video of them. They didn't get close to the anthropologists and they didn't get close to the Sentinelese. When the 2004 tsunami happened in the Indian Ocean, the Indian government said, let's go check on the Sentinelese and see how they're doing. Did they drown? Did the water take them? Or are they still there? They passed with helicopters over the island and they once again got attacked by arrows. And they realized, yeah, they're doing fine. In the year 2006, a fishing boat was too busy fishing next to the island and they face a problem. They realize that they're next to an island and they try to go to the shore to fix their boat. But when they got close, the arrows came their way and they were both killed. After the death of these two fishermen, the Indian government said nobody is allowed at a five kilometer radius around this island. And if anybody gets close, they will be in huge trouble. Their population is around 400 people. And after 2006, nobody has gotten close. Only the Indian army flies over them to check on them. One question here, how do they see the world? What do they think of the water around them? Do they ask themselves, who are these people that come and go? Or what are these things that fly over us, the helicopters? This island is kind of like a planet in the universe and the water is space. And we are the aliens that are trying to enter their planet. Either way, the Indian government believes if they want to take over this island, you kind of have to kill them off. There is no other way. These guys are not going to create peace with us and they see us as strangers. And that is why we got to let them live and not bug them. Some people say these guys are the happiest people on earth because they don't know technology and they don't live a life like this. What do you guys think? Please comment.